week 10 is here, so I'm going to give you five quarterbacks. You should go out there and play right here, right now. And the first guy is Jared Goff of the Los Angeles Rams. This week, he's got an amazing matchup versus Seattle Seahawks team that we just saw give up 400 yards to Josh Allen and four touchdowns. Goff, he's an up-and-down fantasy quarterback this year. But like I said, the matchup's too good to pass up. Seattle gives up the second most fantasy points to quarterback. So right here, I think Goff, he's going to have a good ball game. And he could get you anywhere from 25 to 35, I think, in this one. Seattle, they just can't cover guys for whatever reason. Robert Woods, he's got going. Cooper Cup, Gerald Everett, I think Cam Akers, we might see him finally get going in the backfield. So Goff, he's had a decent career versus Seattle. He knows what they're going to throw at him, seeing them two times a year the last few years in the division. So I think Jerry Goff, he's a good guy to go out there and start. And he's also available in uh, 45% of leagues about. So go out there and get Goff. He's out there for a good spot start as well. The second guy's Carson Wentz of the Philadelphia Eagles. He's the type of guy that when he struggles, he struggles. And when he's good, he's good. He's just up and down inconsistent. But this week, I'm going with the matchup based for this one on Wentz. And now with a couple quarterbacks hurt and on by, this guy's a good replacement. And week seven versus this same giant team, Carson Wentz ripped it up for 359 yards, two passing touchdowns, and 14 yards on the ground with a rushing score as well for Carson Wentz. So he finished the day with 31 fantasy points. And once again here versus the Giants, I know the game's on the road. I think Wentz could get it going. He's coming off the bye. Eagles getting healthy. Amayo Sanders, he's coming back as well in this game. So this offense is just going to improve even more. So Carson Wentz, I think he's going to be a great start this week. The third guy's Tom Brady. He's a guy I told you to go out there and try to trade for. And my quarterbacks to go out there and buy and trade for. Go check that out video. But anyway, Tom Brady, you know he's going to come back this week with a vengeance and he's not happy after getting embarrassed to a division rival on national television on Sunday night football so Brady and the Bucks go into Carolina and Brady he's going to try to get things right him and his receivers the timing was off and the routes were off but this week I think Brady's going to come out there with a huge game Antonio Brown's going to get going I think as well so right there it's going to be fine for Tampa and Tom, I think he could go for 30 to 35 fantasy points in this one. The next quarterback I'm going to start is Derek Carr with the Vegas Raiders. Last week, he was in a good matchup, but he didn't put out that much of a fantasy value. He only finished the day with 18 points, 165 yards, and two passing touchdowns. But the good thing for Carr, he's back home, and when he's home, he plays much better. So Carr home now versus Denver, who we saw Matt Ryan just light up as well. Denver gives up the 17th most fantasy points to quarterbacks. So they're middle of the pack pretty much. Carr, I could see him go out there and have a good ball game as Carr. So I like what he's doing, Carr. He's hitting receivers, even though he don't have a true number one. He's got Aguilar, Renfro, and Ruggs. But Ruggs has been a disappointment as the rookie so far. But Wall is helping him. And Rashad and Booker also out of the backfield. So Carr, I think he could get you 20 to 25 points. And that's not that bad of a start. Especially, like I said, with the buys and the injuries at the quarterback position. And the fifth and final guy I'm looking to start at quarterback this week is Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. And I've been down on Brees for many weeks and most of the season. But Brees has proved me wrong week in and week out. And then in week nine, he went off. For three touchdowns and 30 fantasy points versus a good Tampa Bay Bucks defense. A Drew Brees, he's an every week starting now. No questions asked unless you have one of the elite guys going into the week. He's got a great matchup versus San Francisco, who's banged up. They're indoors at the dome again is Brees. And the, the Saints, he's got Michael Thomas, Emmanuel Sanders back, Kamara having a monster year. So everything's looking good for the Saints. They're up there in the division. The offense is healthy. They're going to get going. They're going to just keep taking off now here in the stretch run. And Drew Brees, he's a starter the rest of the way with great matchups in the next four weeks for fantasy football. So that's five quarterbacks I'm starting this week heading into week 10.